And Mike Fires uh, making his first start of the 2020 campaign. Certainly in this atmosphere against the Angels, he would like to keep some traffic off the bases. David Fletcher will lead things off for the Angels. And he loves two strike hitting. He comes through for a base hit. So he's on, and here comes the three-time MVP in the American League. On the ground left side, it gets through. Back-to-back -back singles to start the day for the Angels offense. One more to get. This is Jared Walsh. Walsh connects. Shallow left. Semyon called off by Grossman. That's how you get it done. Well, the much anticipated return of Shohei Otani. Listen, coming back from Tommy John, I got to believe he's a little anxious and nervous. You're just hoping that the command, the feel, and the touch all come back. Otani, whose fastball velocity looks low compared to what we saw from him a couple seasons ago. Yeah, it's down because I don't think he's fully behind the baseball. And, and when you're not behind the baseball and letting it go downhill, so to speak, you get on the side a little bit and it cuts. Well, he hasn't been on the mound in a long time in a, in a big league game, and this is part of the process. So they're loaded up. Matt Olson is coming. Coming up outside and he walks in a run. Semyon trots home, one nothing Oakland. They'll chat with Otani. Telly searching a little bit. No outs recorded in the home half of the first. This is Mark Hanna. Drill to right field and that's going to bring home a couple runs. Mark Hanna comes through for Oakland and makes it 3 nothing. Starting pitchers want to get through the first inning and their first start of every year so badly. <laughs> a one weekly right side gets through. Grossman knocks in Olsen and makes it 4 nothing Oakland. That'll do it unfortunately for Mr. Otani. The long anticipated outing is going to have to wait seven more days. Matt Andres will take over for the Angels. Hashin on the ground. It's gobbled up at third. They get the out at second and at first. So a double play. They traded for a run as Canna comes home and makes it 5 0. Now Mike Trout has some runners on, which rarely happens last year. And the cherry on top is the fact that he's had good success against Mike Fires. Now 11 for 30 in his career against the Oakland starter, including four home runs. 3 0, we've already seen guys get pretty aggressive in 3 0 counts. You get right back in the ball game right here. 60 game sprint, go for it. And he does. Oh, man. Four, get about it. Mike Trout goes long for three and brings the Angels right back into this ballgame. Well, here's Kemp, left-handed hitter, struck out his first time up. Tony Kemp launching one out toward right field. Brian Goodwin moving back near the wall. Jumps up, makes a catch. Nice play by Brian Goodwin. Out number two. Timing perfect. Goody with the smile. Tony Kemp, I think, thought he might have gotten it out. So now two on for Trout, just like in the third. Yusmero Petit will take over for this big matchup against Trout. Trout sends one to center. Loriano backs up, and he's got room at the track, but that's good enough to bring home Goodwin. Trout scores another one for the Angels to make it 5-4. All four runs driven in by the best player in the world. What a job Andres has done when I don't think he had any aspirations of doing this when your studs on the mound coming back in Otani. But he has been outstanding. Andres has put his team right back in it. No way Ramirez comes out of the bullpen to work after Matt Andres did a great job. Five-nothing game turned into five-four, but wait. First pitch, Sean Murphy muscles up for a solo home run. It gives the A's a six to four lead. Swung on, gone. And Murphy's first home run of 2020. Beat continues for David Fletcher. He's four for four today. All singles, but he most importantly keeps getting alive, and that means Mike Trout's coming to the plate. The runner goes, the pitch breaking ball, swing, and a miss, and the inning is over. Nice job by Soria getting Trout and keeping the lead intact. Bob Melvin will ask Liam Hendricks to give him four outs and pick up a save against an Angels team that knows how to make contact. First pitch from Simmons. There's the ground ball, and we'll see Hendricks in the ninth. Liam Hendricks working at the top of the ninth inning. Hendricks got the last out of the eighth. Yeah. Jason Castro leads off for the Angels. The A's lead 6-4. Swung on, dribble to the right side, wide up first. Olsen has it scooping. Hendricks on the bag, one away. That was big. Went to a 3-2 count. And, of course, a walk there, and the tying run is coming up. There's Taylor Ward, who pinched hit in the seventh inning and flied to right. He's lifted to right field angle toward the line. A long run. Canna coming over, crossing the foul line, has room, and he makes the catch. 
Good job reading that ball and also fighting the sun angling into foul territory as Ward flies out and that'll bring up Brian Goodwin So check swing he goes and this game is over Liam Hendricks drops a breaking ball inside Goodwin can't believe it but he's rung up by the plate umpire Marvin Hudson and the A's have taken two of the first three games against the Halos.